Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 104 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Well, it looks like we're in the middle of a battle, so let's see what happens. A fire elemental attacking Kisnir of all people. Ah. Screwed up by my trial one again. I have the animations on. But let's look at this one. Hmm. Curious. I thought it had some kind of headdress when you look at it in the normal view. Mama. Ouch. Mm, yeah, this guy. We're not killing him. Well, not until later, I mean. Looks like I never equipped Avaro with his capture rope. Yeah, let's take a risk. Oh, good. Kodo Kaishida! Actually, I'm going to have D-Town attack first. What is this guy weak against? Ice. Yeah, you know, Earth is fine. D-Town has the Mercy Ring equipped, I think. Yeah, maybe not. Hell, let's look. Okay, equip now. Now he'll get it down low and Navarro can finish it off for bonus experience. Ah yes, I knew I brought her along for healing. Well, this sucks, but he's had his stat caps for all of his other stats. Until... BAM! Class change. That's a lot of HP. And attack. Defense. This is a good thing all around, I'd have to say. Oh, extra movement point. Remove. And battle command. I'm probably not going to use that, but it's an interesting effect. Hmm. Oh, that was close. But actually, Ranru probably still won't be able to kill it. Yep. I knew it, but I wanted to show it off. Now this thing does have a ranged attack. But, since, um, what's his... Karin's attack, the one that he used, actually cursed the guy. And it did in both my trial runs too, so... Even though I'm attacking him, he can't smash my ranged units up. Now look at this headdress the thing's wearing. I'm telling you, it wasn't in that. 
What? I'll give you the money. You bitch. Still. Sonora. It may be rare, but it's still useless. Hmm. Kill it now. Nah. Soften it up for us, Rishu. Yep. Mercy rings on. Hmm. Now that I've all got that level up, all of my characters are level 30 now. Perhaps I should pull someone back. You know, it's pretty much my summoner, two tanks, and my backup healer. Yeah, things will be fine like this. Hmm. Why? I've been waiting for these for so long and now I get like... Was that the third one in this level? Oh, no, we're not killing you yet. Or you. I have to be careful when attacking with Karin because he's got so much luck now he gets... Like critical hits one in three or something. <laughs> Mercy rig. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. Oh, she's been paralyzed. Pretty good, too. Hmm, well. Oh, she got to level 31, so I think I'll head her back to base. Rishu and Sayori would head this way. Hmm. Now, I've got a job for an engineer up here, so I should send either Dietrich, Dethelm, or Avaro. Let's send Avaro instead of Deedhelm. Because coming up close is an enemy I don't want Avaro tangling with. You know what, I'm going to show the animation of that guy. Because they're ugly as hell. Whoops. No, I said Avaro was headed back this way. Detail can handle that one. See it? <laughs> ugly! I really don't know how the musculature on its legs even works. Mama. Yeah, no need to do that. Just capture it and be on with it. Hey, an ore. I need an ore for something. I'm sure it was important. Oh, that teleporting guy. Alright, thanks for everything, Karin. Let's summon... Rudin. Now this is what I didn't want Navarro tangling with. Oh well. You see, Storm Dragons are Lightning Elemental, and Avaro's weak against Lightning. Even with the nice-ass armor that he's currently wearing, it'd mess him up. So I guess I'll have Deethelm capture this sucker. Hmm. 
Note that it still can't deal any damage to Risha and Teddy. Hmm. Well, we can have this kind of fight. But actually, it is more suited for it than I is. Interesting. She doesn't have enough lightning resistance. And surprisingly for a caster, she doesn't have much... Oh, what's it? Magic defense. So I'll wait for someone better to fight that guy. Oh, why not? Yori Nyuiki, let's see what you can do. I know you don't have very much in the way of magic defense either. Well, at least he has a ton of life. Oh, these enemies, jeez. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll try someone else. Alright, you're outmatched Koro here, guy with a gun. When approaching this guy, you should be careful because he has a ranged area of effect attack. Shut up, I'm talking. Here, you will be quiet. You knows when to be quiet. Alright, this guy's range attack actually has a range of 5. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yep, this is the one. He hits here, and it has a spread of 2, so it hits this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. So, I'm careful to make sure we don't have more than one character in that space at any given time. And he won't use it. It can be absolutely devastating. Now, whom shall I attack that guy with? I don't know. Do you have good resistance? Yes. This is the perfect character to do it with. Just as soon as you takes this, she can be deployed from it. I got the Suma shield. Yes, the Suma shield is free. And equip a full meal. Alright. Rosaline. Hmm, okay. Now soften this sucker up some more, and Deet Helm can switch weapons and kill it. You know, now that all my summons have uh, either gotten to level 31 or gotten half killed by that teleporting sorcerer, mm. there isn't much for Fia to do. Alright. Come on in, Rosaline. Since you're in range, I think the, that guy will attack her. And he can't hold a candle to her, seriously. Let's see. This is a fatigue potion. Small ones, three.
Yeah, just stand around looking pretty for you. Haha, <laughs> sucker. Yeah, let's do it. I don't want it to do me too much damage. Son of a bitch. Alright. You know what, forget it. Just march up to him and capture him. Alright, Rosaline, keep at it. Hey, that guy's level 33. I thought all the enemies around here were level 32. Interesting. Well, whatever. <laughs> Clearly this is an enemy that doesn't think it can hurt I. Uh, and to be honest, it's probably right about that. Alright, this will take a couple turns, but still. No regrets. Haha, <laughs> sucker. That's a pretty decent quantity of experience. Hmm. That's, I bet Yorin has healed up enough. Yorin, go and punch this thing until it dies. You know, Yorin's really a pal about this kind of thing. Hmm. Oh, I really need to show one of those girls. They're cute. Wait, was that another one? Aquatic beast spin. I swear, I was waiting on them for so long and now I get... That's the fourth. That's the fourth in this one map. Um... Okay, healing potion, large one. Great. You need to be wary about entering this last room. You've been, if you've been paying attention to the enemy turns, for instance, you would know that there's a new kind of enemy that we haven't seen yet. No. Maybe I should have looked at what that did. Oh, 
行動開始だ俺の出番だな Wait a minute. Thanks for helping out, Rudin. You're done now. Hmm. Yeah. Now the remainder is pretty much just flushing out the rest of the enemies. Kodo Kaisha. 俺の出番だな朝飯前だ、oh, <clears throat> Now, yeah, she's got her non-elemental. Alright, everything's in order. Uh, so not fair. Hmm, to think she was actually injured that badly, though. All is well. You know, in my trial run. The Sylphie just came up and did a weak ass physical attack. Hmm. Well, next turn I'll pull Rishu and Sadie back. <coughs> Excuse me. And at the very least, these two wounded characters will determine that they need to come out and play. The Sylphie might stay still. But huh, well whatever. Healing of this thing. This is why I have healers. Nah, yeah, forget about it. I was considering pulling out Ranin so I'd have another healer, but seriously, I don't need it. Hmm. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Well, the nice thing about Rosaline is she's got a pretty good magic attack, so. When I throw it, it'll probably kill whatever I throw it at. Oh no! Yeah, 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 that's fine. But more importantly, I wanted to show her off. Check this out, isn't she cute? Mm, same thing. Magic attack. That's great. Now, this thing will have a hard time hurting either you or I, but... On the other hand, I and you can't really hurt us. Ha, here we go. See, we guess physical attack. You know, I think I've started warming up to the Jilnies in this game. 
Now I might bring Avaro along, except he hasn't got enough fatigue, he'd run out just trying to get to the battlefield. Let's see. Enticement Goddess Shield. I haven't even seen one of these before. How about we take a look, huh? Well, not like Rishu and Sailor can actually equip any shields. It's actually not too impressive. Yeah, it's basically like all these other shields I have. It's got a lot of upgrades available, though. I wonder what it would look like if I actually had the shards to upgrade it with. Free shot. Hmm. You know what? Rosaline is high enough level now. I think I will give this next one to Mikeyu. Hmm. No, better not. my mind again. Dijom gets this one. Mikeu gets the boss. Hmm. Wait. Oh well. Now he's level 31 and I need to give Mikeu the boss. It's a win for everybody. So, as you can probably guess, I want to get back here. At least it doesn't do something crazy like make me send somebody who can also find hidden rooms in order to get to it. And fortunately, the boss isn't too hard if you know what you're doing. Just park Karin next to it and it will attack Karin every turn and that's the end of that. I forget if this thing has the sometimes double moves or always double moves. I think it's always, actually. Yep, always. Um. Nuts. I could use you right about now. All right, good job, Yoren. And you too, Rishu. Hmm. Yes, the most useful character I have for this particular task is you.
Damn, I got to tell you, teleportation is so convenient. Hmm? Oh yeah, sure, whatever. This is actually one of its best attacks when attacking Karin. Well, for the moment, anyway. In the end, it'll all come to naught. Once his determination really kicks in. Physical attack. Hmm. Well, I can have... Fia attack there as well. But then there's counterattacks. Ah, forget it. I got plenty of time. Okay, well now it's time to have Karin stop attacking. Well, I guess Conan could use a weaker attack. But it's vitally important that he doesn't actually kill the boss. I want double drops, you see. I need double drops. It's a boss. How could you not get double drops? That would just be wrong. Okay, first things first, you claim this thing. Lightning Spear, Luna Glaive. Okay. Wait, let me look at that. <laughs> no, not Luna Glaive. Luna Grape. Okay, whatever. I don't even care. Alright. Hmm, she could kill this. Oh, that was close. Oops. And equip the shield, and I forgot to equip it on her. And we have the full mill, yes. Let's see what this boss looks like. That was short. You know, I think I forgot to tell you what the boss was actually called. It was a dark victim queen. And apparently connected to the dark refiners that Gaidel is leading. But as for what exactly it was, I don't know. Was it a ghost queen? Oh, and I got two e elixirs. The elixirs thing is kind of a letdown because I have so many potions right now. And it's not like you have to waste a turn to use a potion. Alright. So we continue on. And the demons and monsters that we keep defeating. So it seems like we could be able to get this far. But these guys are pretty fucking tough. To think it's all under Gaidal's organization. Way back when we fought a upper level demon as well. And it seems that the company is something that could do something like that. But even so, this is strange. Even if we say this is the defense of their home base, this kind of fighting power is just out of the ordinary. No, here we got good news. Risha and Sayli has remembered some information that seems to be pertinent regarding this dark refiner's organization. The Gaidal Company... No, not the Gaidal Company. Well, yes. 
in the underground uh, society. Perhaps that name is better known, but it didn't get to Rishu. That's right. What Rishu would know would be stuff that has gotten as far as Rao Rosso. Right. So originally, Rao Rosso was part of the former Inrax Kingdom, and sort of on the same path as Influs Kingdom. And so, it would probably fall under the purview of Gaidal's Revenge. In other words, you are a target as well. So, being at least in the same boat as part of the Fuchsia Faith, and Gaidal's probably going to aim his revenge, if he can get it, rather indiscriminately. Alright, so this territory is under the Bergarad Kingdom. And living here, there are many of the followers of darkness. Probably the reason why the Gaidal Company has been able to get its hands on so many demons and monsters is due to this reason exactly. Come to think of it, this isn't Influence Kingdom. Gaidal told us before. No, who was it? Ah, yeah, one of us remembered. And Gaidal did tell us it was part of Belgarado. So, the Fuchsia Faith is weak here. And... The Followers of Darkness! Now, that particular name... is... the general name given to those people who were chased out by those people who liked order and generally the human society. So, these dark refiners probably fall within the purview of the greater followers of darkness, followers of the night thing they have going on. So, you know, they're a subset of a bigger group of bad guys. In other words, we've got a bunch of criminals and fallen nobles and beastmen and demons that all ended up here because they were bad guys. So, doing things like fencing stolen goods and running contraband around. Even as far as Raul Rosso, we've been, the uh, problems caused by these guys have been having an effect. So, because here in Belgarad Kingdom there are a lot of these followers of the night, they gathered up and, ultimately, these dark refiners have been able to take advantage of, you know, the bad guys in the vicinity. And with this, these certain humans that are looking for freedom from the gods are trying to stir up another insurrection. So in other words, Gaidal and his followers, who have been trying to get to fell the present gods, have been taking advantage of the followers of the night. So being chased into this place, 
The Dark Refiners have met up with allies who share the same views as they do. <laughs> Again with the misunderstandings thing. Anyway, he says this is a cruel misunderstanding. Although it may seem that way, we're not just affiliated with them like that. Oh great, he just butts into the conversation when he likes. Okay, so you see, the Dark Refiners are a clan that have been carrying on their bloodline. Avaro should understand this because this is the will that brought him his life too. So, the Dark Refiners, according to Gaidal, are totally different from the followers of the night. We haven't made an alliance or anything, it's just that they're useful, so we've made use of them. Yeah, he was basically waiting for the perfect time to butt in, wasn't he? Well, even if you say that, what you do is basically the same. Huh. Okay, even if we, he explains it to us, we probably won't understand, but he's gonna do it anyway. And anyway, he says, We are different from these riffraff that have just gathered at random. So these guys, in particular, place great importance on their bloodline. So those people who hold the high and proud blood, without change, they inherit the will of their ancestors. This will to free the humans and, well, make their way back to the old gods. You know, the more he says this, I get the feeling like I missed something the first time. Avaro once described the way Gaidal carries on his bloodline, kind of like a... kind of like a form of brainwashing. And if there have been so few detractors over these centuries or whatever, then maybe it's true that the ancestors are brainwashing their descendants like Gaidal. Well, whatever. Anyway, he says, since they've been chased into this particular land, even so, their actions have not ended. So, slipping through the oversight of the Fuchsia faith, they, over the months, years, decades, and centuries, have managed to stretch their roots into the Infalu's kingdom. <laughs> so, they've even gotten some inroads into the royal family itself. And also into those hated elves. He like he takes a moment to rub it in the face that his family has sullied the pure blood that they so proudly tried to uphold. <laughs> Is that what he means by Avaro? Well, assuming what he says is true, that still means that Avaro wasn't taken in by the blood brainwashing thing, possibly because of the elf blood, meaning that Avaro is their biggest failure in centuries. 
All right, Avaro is saying he still doesn't understand. Looking at it from the outside, the followers of darkness actually do appear the same as the dark refiners. You know, followers of the night. Man, I keep messing these na titles up. So even if they've got this bloodline and everything, it's not the most important thing of all things. <laughs> How cruel. Avaro too has the blood in him. The half of it, you know. And Fia just says to herself, Avaro's blood. What is it, Fia? You want to taste? Fia. So yeah, she's mumbling to herself. She's got a heavy look on her face and she's quivering a bit. It seems like she's afraid of something. Okay. Alright, back to Gaidal talking about Avaro's blood. Avaro should consider it an honor. Since he's got this great blood running through his veins, he was able to meet up with this goddess of his. You know, I never really believed him when he said it. But they keep repeating it like it's true, so maybe it is. I have my doubts. Okay, so Avaro says even if he... Even if he does have the blood in him, does that really mean that that's why he was able to move the castle? So, that's right. Being guided by the clan's blood, he eventually found his way to the Gwalakuna castle, right? Well, no. Havara thinks that he was just wandering around the countries, eventually ended up in Infru's kingdom, and coincidentally was hired to do the investigation and repairs. But before he can put that into words, he looks at Fia, and she's so troubled he forgets to say it. Hmm. Well, it puts him uneasy about saying it. So he says that their their thoughts have been forsaken by the present gods. Yeah, and the proof of that is before our eyes. Hmm. Now he addresses Fia for once and says that she should be proud of herself that in the past she joined forces with these guys and fought against the faction of darkness with them uh, the faction of light with them oops So, being addressed directly by Gaidal, Fia's trying to remember stuff about her past self. She clenches her eyes shut and furrows up her brow and everything. So, how about it? If she is okay with it, Gaidal would be happy to join to a uh, Welcome her back into the fight. Because after all, these guys don't want... It's not that these guys want to fight. They just want a little bit of freedom. That's all they want. Yeah, Fia's tripping over her words. She gets uh, I out and them, or rather everybody. Oh, you know how incomplete sentences go in Japan, Japanese. Anyway, she's trying to force out some words, but eventually doesn't get much. Navarro tells Gaidal not to 
to speak to Fia any more than that. We've already rejected his exchange after all. So this guy doll company as well as this dark refiners thing. All together, here we're going to put an end to you. <laughs> Ooh, scary. But the guy doll isn't just going to let us do that. So he's going to mess. Hmm, well, I wonder what he's going to do. He says he's going to do something. That wasn't very specific. Wahoo! Let's see what I get. Ah, oh, nuts. In one of my trial runs, I got some. Reisha Palco. It's a new kind of steel that I could get. Oh god, more talking! So we've continued this much deeper into Gaidal's hideout. So it seems we've taken over one uh, fragment of their fortress. So before we move on, let's return to, for the, to the castle. Everybody's probably tired, so let's rest. Yeah. Yeah. Fia's face is pretty darkly expressed right now. Again, she's worried about what Gaidal said. And she's still trying to remember. Remember all this stuff from before. You know what? I said I doubted Avaro actually had the bloodline in him. You know what I doubt even more? That Fia teamed up with them voluntarily. In any case, Avaro tells Fia not to work so hard about it. We don't know whether... We don't even have any proof that Gaidal's story is true at all. And anyway, why would Fia choose herself to split up with the present gods. After all, Fia wouldn't want to fight. So, Fia does give up for the moment and forces herself to smile. So, you really think so? Yes, absolutely. So, let's return to the castle and calm down a bit, take some time. And, as usual, let's all eat. All eat, uh, well, it says meals together. Heh. <laughs> Alright, everybody, back to the castle. Hua. Well, that was that. And it took long enough, didn't it? So. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.